Hey, this is Thomas Piper from People's Republic of Sound. Um, how you guys going? Well, today we're going to talk about synchronizing clips and multiple clips. Most people think in Final Cut that you can only synchronize one audio clip and one video clip. That is not true. Um, I'm going to show you a video that has a quick one minute piece of a video that has two sets of audios, um, an instrumental and a vocal version, and multiple video clips, probably eight, all synchronized using the synchronized clips um, command when you right click in Final Cut Pro X. It's one of the things that makes Final Cut really cool. Um, so check it out. Yo, they want me to change course, but I no. stated before, I refuse to force Word life. I was put here to do you this service. Yeah, all informative. Yeah. Please tell a friend, rehearse this That's against on. all religion. So my words are curse what they say to listen to me. Open your mind, it's worth it. Open. Ready? Yeah. Peace, what's going on, Johnny Prince? Born. Bread, Ways, Best Stop, Brooklyn, uh, Parents, from Panama, Panamanian. All right, um, um, now that you've seen the video, um, we're back. And basically, the video was two parts. It's a um, more music video performance section where he's actually r um, rhyming to a, a track, lip syncing. And then here is a... Uh, interview section where the track turns into an instrumental and he's you know um, saying doing his interview and the music is just a background bed and so I actually used two audio clips to do that and um, one's the instrumental and one's the full track with the vocals and a bunch of video clips for the rap section which he just basically rhymed to those and I recorded a bunch of video clips of him rhyming and edited those together and sunk them together with the synchronized clip command and if I double click on here what will happen when you double click because this is a compound click double click again you'll see all the clips that I used so um, you'll see um, this is the instrumental this is the regular version with vocals so this section here is the rap section that's why you only you don't see um the instrumental track is deselected because I just want to hear the vocals here and then from here on you hear the the um, instrumental and that's where I put the um interview and these are a bunch of edits how I edited these clips together actually just use the the say make clip cuts use the blade tool to make cuts and just disabled and undisabled and to do edits um more like a track based way um so how do you do that um basically how you do that is you select the clips that you want to um synchronize i made a rap keyword here so i had a lot of footage so this is just the rap footage so i made a keyword rap and then selected all the stuff that were rap footage and then i pick okay i want this clip hit command I want this clip this clip and this clip you know I could select any clips and then I select the two audio clips and it will synchronize all these clips I right click right click and hit synchronize clips and then it starts synchronizing and you see the render wheel starting to work now you won't see this the clip that you the synchronize clip on in your keyword group here event you're gonna have to go to the main event, which is um the Johnny Prince here, and it names it MVI 1637. Why? Because that was the first clip you first video clip number. Not you could you could you know it's the first clip. It does it by the clip that you um the lowest number. So this is MVI 1637. That's the smallest number. It does that first, and then it goes up in number. Um, it doesn't do it by audio, so you won't see your audio clip, even if you select it first. It always does it by the video clip. So even so, you might go back and say, "Well, where are the other clips?" It's there. These are compound clicks. So now, if I double-click on this MVI 
1637 synchronized clip, you will see a, that it opens up into more clips. And these are the clips that I selected, 1642, 1641, etc. And the two audio clips. And if I play that, you can see that. I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick edit so you can see. Use the blade tool here and just do a quick edit. And you can kind of see that. See, it switches. See how it's switching. See, so all these clips are now selected. I'm going to undo. Now, what you want to do is, once you know that they are selected and the render bar is done, so everything is rendered and it's all synchronized, you want to deselect the audio. So in the inspector, hit the audio tab and deselect the audio because you don't need the audio from the camera. Um, and how I got the audio to the camera, I didn't just use the microphone, I actually used a splitter and one audio, one, it's split out to a speaker so that he can hear, the talent can hear, and the other audio is going directly into the microphone jack of the Canon with a little, and that splitter actually has a little level. So you could turn down the level so that it doesn't sound crazy loud because the Canon 7D doesn't have, um, you can't set the level. Now if you have a 60D or 5D, you can just send it and turn down the volume and now you, own, you don't get any of the background noise. It's easier for the computer to sync. And what I did for the um, instrumental, why I have the two tracks here is that what I'm going to do is make a make a cut here and make a cut here. And I hit V, which is disable. And I hit V here, select, and then hit V. And what's it going to do is that it's going to play this, the instrumental. And you hear no vocal. And then it's gonna switch. See that? And it goes to the vocal version. And that can come in handy if you want this section here. Maybe you don't want the rap here. You want him to talk over this section. You might turn down the volume a little bit here. You know, grab that and turn down the volume. See if, yep, turn it down a little bit so he can talk over that section if you want. And then when it gets to this section, it goes back up and. He's lip syncing to this audio, but you're not hearing all the other audio. I mean, there's so many things you could do with that. Um, so that's basically it. And this synchronized clip now, if I go back, oops, if I go back, let's just go back over here, and I can drop this into the main timeline or however you want to do it. Um, so that's a basic way to do it with multiple video, multiple audio. Um, I'm Thomas Piper. Um, you can check me out at www.flavors.me backslash Thomas Piper, T-H-O-M-A-S-P-I-P-E-R. And I've got some other cool stuff there, um, music stuff, video stuff, everything. Um, so, hope you enjoy. See you later.